Hey, the rising cost of just about everything from groceries to gas right now is leading to speculation that more people won't be able to afford their mortgage payments. And you know that's causing a lot of concern that foreclosures are on the horizon. And while it is true, like foreclosures have gone up a little bit compared to last year, experts are saying that a flood of foreclosures is not coming. So take it from Bill McBride of Calculated Risk. He's an expert on the housing market after carefully, you know, following in this data and market environments leading up to the crash, he was able to see those foreclosures coming in 2008. And with the same analysis, he has a completely different view on the current market. So his quote is, there will not be a foreclosure crisis at this time because there just aren't many homeowners who are seriously behind on their mortgage payments. And one of the main reasons there were so many foreclosures during the last you know, housing crash will was because lenders weren't being very strict with assessing those applicants, you know, their credit scores, income levels, employment status, debt to income ratios. But now lending standards have tightened, right? Leading to more qualified buyers, you know, who can afford to make those mortgage payments. And data from Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae shows that the number of homeowners who are seriously behind on their mortgage payments is declining. And so before there can be a significant rise in foreclosures, the number of people who can't make their mortgage payments would need to rise substantially. And since so many buyers are making their payments today, a wave of foreclosures just isn't likely to happen. So if you're worried about a potential flood of foreclosures, just know there's nothing in the data to suggest that that will happen. In fact, qualified buyers are making their mortgage payments at a very high rate.